Now, my God, what the hell are you wearing? It's a solid gold tuxedo, Lois. I had to fight three rappers down at the nonsense store for this. Look, Peter, this is not who we are. I'm worried the money is changing this family and not the way you hoped. Well, I was hoping it would make you shut up, so you're right. You know, I spoke to Bonnie this morning, and she said you haven't talked to Joe or Quagmire in two weeks. Who cares? I don't need Quagmire. And I certainly don't need Joe. I got money, Joe. <laughs> That's a good one, money, Joe. I don't like what this money is doing to us. It's even affecting Brian and Stewie. <sighs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. What, here? Yeah, I had a giant mobile put in the sky so I can sleep wherever I want. <sighs> this is nice. I hope that bear comes around soon. That's sort of my favorite. Oh, look, the bear! And it's not just them. Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <gasps> You don't see poor people doing this! Lois, don't you understand? We don't got any of our old problems anymore. We don't have to worry about paying bills. We don't have to worry about saving dough. All we gotta do is enjoy ourselves. Interested? <gasps> oh my god! Peter, it's beautiful! Is it a blood diamond? Ah, oh, the bloodiest. The two kids who found it were forced to murder each other. Oh, Peter, I love it! Hey, you want to watch a DVD of the murder while we do it? I already watched it eight times, so I know exactly which part I want to blam at. Chris, Meg, now that I'm a rich father, you will try to impress me and I will remain distant. Go. Um, uh, say, Dad, did I tell you I got second place in the yacht race? Hmm, sounds like somebody's dad is happier than me right now. Well, um, how about this, Dad? The school paper's doing a story about me. That's because I had it arranged. Uh, I was thinking about joining the army? No. Meg, as a girl, your life holds no merit. And Chris, try as you may, you will never be as good as your older brother who died. He was good at sports and talking. Now pardon me while I look at Scrimshaw through a magnifying glass. Ah, brave men all. Lost sons of New Bedford. That's good, Scrimshaw.